Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video, I'll be introducing your week seven prove assignment and hopefully giving you a couple tips to, to help you out with it. Um, so in this assignment, you'll be calculating the molar mass of a molecule. Um, I'm no chemist, but basically you're just, there's a brief explanation here, but you're taking the number of atoms times the atomic mass um, and adding it to the total mass of a molecule for each atom in it, okay? Um, for the assignment, you're going to download Chemistry Pi and Test Chemistry Pi and save them in the same folder where you're going to run your program. So if you look at Test Chemistry, uh, here's what I just downloaded. We have test names, test atomic masses, test parse, and test molar mass. All right. And then if I look at uh, Chemistry, here's what that looks like. Okay, so we have in it, periodic table, we have everything in here. Um, and, and so here's what, what this file looks like. All right, so there's a lot of code here. Um, this is the main part that you have to worry about for this file. Um, down here a little bit further, um, it says there are 118 known elements. Uh, these two functions will each contain at least 118 lines of code when you're finished writing them. Uh, it's strongly recommended that you use copy and paste to help you quickly write test names and test atomic masses. Um, so here it says, ask someone for help if you don't know how to do this. So what I would do, I would just copy uh, this whole thing. Let's go down, grab this whole thing, come over to my text editor and paste it. And let's see what we're working with here. Okay, um, this at least makes it pretty accessible, everything that's in here. Um, with it, a cool little trick that I use all the time. Um, if there are a bunch of lines that I want to edit at the same time, uh, I could just, um, it's the hotkey control alt up arrow or down, down arrow. It'll just create a cursor um, on the line above where I currently am. And so I'm gonna keep on going up, 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 up. And if it's not control alt up arrow, you can look, I'll show you guys here in a sec, um, but you can look at your key bindings. Um, but right here, um, let's say I wanted to put all of these in, in a list or dictionary or something. Uh, right here, I could just hit Control Shift, right arrow to highlight all those, put them into quotes, put a colon, um, hit the home key, put all these in a nice object, you know, and I can do this all at once. Okay, and I could do anything I wanted to with this, um, but then it'd be really easy um, to, to to paste these somewhere or to move them somewhere else. Okay, uh, so looking at your key bindings, you just go to preferences and keyboard shortcuts. And oh, right here, <laughs> add cursor above, add cursor below. So as you can see, mine, are, mine is control alt up arrow, control alt down arrow. But you can search for add cursor above and add cursor below to see how I did that. There's also a bunch of other really helpful ones as far as as far as far cursors go. Um, but I, it, it just really helps with copying and pasting and, and, and creating data like this in a Python file. So um, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you really enjoyed this assignment. If you have any questions, please let me know.